Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at passing PDF files. The format we have today is patient's information file. We only have one format and you can see that there's a various different data here and all this is stored into tables and you can see the name and then the value and then there's a logo up here. So we're going to be taking all of this information here in all these different files and converting them to JSON data. It doesn't really matter what you're going to do with the data. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to extract this data using Node. So the first thing we want to do is to import FS because we're going to be working with the file system. Next up, we're going to be importing PDF to JSON. After that, we're going to be getting all of the file names in the patient folder. So the structure is over here that we have the JS file right here. And then we have a patient folder right next to it. And in that patient folder, we have all of the patients, which are individual PDF files. So we're just going to be getting all of those file names into an array. Then we're just making a temporary value to hold all of the past patients once we're done passing them. Then we're making a instantly instantiated function because we're going to be working with asynchronous code. Then we're making a promises.all a waiting. So that means we're waiting for all of the promises to be done. So that means that we have a lot of promises and we're waiting all of those promises to be done before continuing down here. We're then taking all of the files and then we're mapping them. So that's just a way of looping through them. And then we're taking each file. So that will be each name of these files in here. Then we're making a PDF parser where we're passing in this. So the instance of this, and then we're passing in one. Then we're going to be loading this PDF file by doing patients slash the file name. So the current file name, and then we're going to be loading that file in using PDF parser. Now we're going to be making a new promise because this code is not asynchronous and we want it to be asynchronous. So we are wrapping this within a promise. So inside of the promise, we have a parser.on. So that is when the data is ready. So when we have the data, when the PDF parser has passed all the data and it is ready for us to work with it, then we're going to be within this code in here. And then we're going to be working with the data in here and it's going to be named PDF data. Next up, we are going to be taking this data. So the data, so all the raw data in the PDF, and we're going to be doing PDF parser dot get raw text context. Then we're going to be replacing all new lines with spaces. So that means that we're making all of this into one big line. The data at this point, I can just quickly show you. So if I just comment this and print out this raw data. You can see that all of the data is like this. So now it's one big line. All we are going to do is we're, we're going to be passing this data. So all this is, is just text data. And if you remember from the series of passing text data, well, this is essentially just text data that we're going to be passing. So we're just taking this file here. It starts with name, then it, the name, then address, then the address, and then the phone number, then the phone number, the birthday, then the birth date, email, email, blood type, height, and weight. And then we get these weird things here, and then page, and then break. And then we're just going to be taking that data and extracting all of the individual components and putting them into an object, which we're then going to re be returning, which is then going to be inside of this patient's object. Okay. Once we have gotten all of that data, so this entire string down here, then we're just going to be using regex to extract this. The regex looks like this. So the name, we are looking for the name here, then a space, so a space right here. Then the value, we're going to extract in a group. And then the address, so we're going to, it's essentially taking everything in between name and address. And we are making sure to put an I here, so it's not case sensitive. So in case it was named address with a lower A or a name with a lower N, we're just going to ignore that. Then we're executing this expression. We are passing in the raw data. We are then grabbing the first result of that expression. Then we're trimming it. And then essentially we're just doing the exact same thing all the way down. And you can see the way I've done it. So obviously your data would be different. Just make sure that you're not grabbing a value that's the same as the value. Let's say the word address would be in here. Well, that would mess up the thing. So maybe look for something that was more like specific. So once we're done with that, we're just going to be taking the patient and adding it to the patient's array. So the patient, you can see that we get back here after all this. Remember, this is a promise. So this resolve function is really a return function that returns all of this and returns it back to the patients. And under that, we're just taking the patients and then we're pushing that patient into the patient's array. Next up, we're taking all of those patients once we're done passing them. So remember here, so you can see here, 
So once we're done, we're awaiting all of the promises inside of here. And once all of them are done, passing, then we're just going to be making a patience.json file, stringifying that patience array so we can put them into this JSON file. And then we're just going to be saving this JSON file with all these patients inside of them. And if you run the code now, you can see that we now have all of these patient data in a JSON format. And now it's pretty managed, manageable to work with and we could have added this to a database or done really whatever we wanted with this data. So I hope you learned something. I hope you saw the way I passed stuff and uh, learned something from it. So hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.